Hello there and welcome to a theory that I have about this game that it's not going to fix the game, it's not going to make it an amazing game rating but it is going to make Ellie's story a lot better way more interesting, a lot of details and I've got a lot of fucking proof sorry about the swearing, I'll get used to it but I've got a lot of proof that this is real Right, this could be real, and if it is, makes the game even fucking better. So, well, makes the game good, yeah. So my theory on this is that she is slowly losing her mind throughout the game. She is, and this was caused by the infection that's in her brain. And we don't know how that infection works, but we, we do know what the infection does is make you go crazy and you go very violent. And Ellie is very violent in this game. And I believe she's actually a bit crazy, especially towards the end. And it was all triggered by the death of Joe. Just wait until you see the evidence. The evidence and how it makes sense is basically what I'm saying. So this is the scene we all know where Joe sadly loses his life. And this is the triggering point of a Ellie's breakdown. Joel, please get up! Ah! No! 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 So as you can see, he boots her in the, the left, uh, right side of her face, right? And it looks like he kicks her in the head and it knocks her out, right? I think her witnessing Joe's death and being booted in the head, which where the fungi is, has triggered the infection to slowly make her lose her mind. That is what I generally believe. So after that, Tommy shows up to comfort Ellie. Ellie says that she's going to go after uh, Abby and her team. And Tommy, who is Joe's brother, is basically saying, well, we can't do that. We need a big man team to do this right. We need all the help we can get. And he's basically being a puss about it, right? But he's logical. He's being, um, he's thinking ahead, right, and he wants to protect Jackson, but he also does want it, but he's protecting Jackson first. This is important later, and we'll see why he has a big change. So later on in the story, Ellie finds one of the people that helped kill Joe, and instead of killing her, he is just taking her hostage, and he's going to try and interrogate her, basically. So his friend comes over and says they got orders to kill a trespass, just meaning Ellie. He, for some reason, doesn't want that to happen, so he stops it. He's about to do it anyway, because he's got orders, so he's like, fuck out the way. He gets shot by uh, Dina, that's up in the glass. Dina gets shot down by the guy who has a gun. Jordan decides not to shoot Dina in this situation meaning he doesn't want to kill her. He says, you shouldn't have come here, so he's warning Ellie, saying, here, you shouldn't have been here, Dina shouldn't have been here, and he doesn't shoot both of them. He wants them to live, so there you go. Right? But, he starts choking Dina, and then this is what happens right after this.
So Jordan dies, right, even though he had no intention of killing both of them. If he wanted them dead, he could have killed them at any time, but he only dies when he starts choking Dina, right? This is important. This gave Ellie a reason to kill him instantly, and we're going to see more of that as a because she is retaliating, and we will see. We will see that later on. So later on, uh, Ellie sneaks up on this girl. We have an interaction where he's got it. Now, she has a fucking knife to her throat, right? And she says, oh, if you tell me where uh, the girl I'm looking for is, I'll let you go, right? She tells her where she is. But then this is what proceeds to happen after she does that. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Easy. Easy. Do you know a girl named Nora? Sure, yeah. Where is she? In the hospital. Where in the hospital? Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. Fuck. So Ellie obviously kills her, right, because she tried to stab Ellie after Ellie said that I will spare, that I might spare your life if you tell me that. Right? So Ellie, in retaliation, and here's the thing, when you look at Ellie, she waits a bit. She's like thinking about it, she's like, oh, what, what am I going to do here? And she stabs her in the neck, right, because she retaliated, right? Bit convenient how both of these characters, Jordan and whoever this girl is, have gave a reason for Ellie to kill them. Right? Bit convenient as well. More on that. So later on, we arrive at the hospital where Nora is. We find Nora and Ellie says, don't scream and then I'll just let the scene play out and show you what happens. Scream. Put that shit down. You remember me? Yeah. You remember me. What do you want? Abby was here earlier. Where'd she go? I don't know. You shoot me. The sound will help every soldier come running. You'll still be dead. Tell me where she went and I'll think about letting you go. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Or maybe you should have stayed the fuck out of Jackson. Where's Abby? You still hear his screams? What? I hear them every night. Yeah. Yeah, that little bitch got what he deserved. You fucking <laughs> help! So we see that scene and she's just going, Oh, where's Abby? you know? And all of a sudden, she says this type of shit, like, oh yeah, that little bitch got what we deserved. Who the fuck would say that while being held at gunpoint for a few metres, right? It's not logical, doesn't make any sense, right? She is not in a position where she can do that. And yet, she says it, right? And then she throws tools at Ellie. But here's the thing, I don't think she says it. I think Ellie thinks she says it, but she doesn't actually say anything. And this gives Ellie the just of reason to do this, where she's about to hit her with a pistol, right? 
So the girl, Nora, has no choice but to defend herself and throws the surgical tools at Ellie, right? And then chases her. And then that plays in the next scene. So she chases Nora, she catches Nora, she's held at gunpoint by these soldiers, she falls down there and gets Nora infected with the spores, right? Doesn't have a ch doesn't have a choice. Nora's infected, that's that. Ellie chases her more, finds her, and then starts interrogating her. Now you see that? Nora swings at Ellie. Ellie grabs the pipe and hits Nora. She retaliates. She's hitting Nora back because she hit first. It's always triggered by someone else. So Ellie asks where Abby is, obviously. That's the whole point she's here. She says, I'm dead anyway. Why would I tell you anything? Because Ellie will make it quick if she does. Or... She's going to make it a lot worse if she doesn't. She says, I'm not going to give up my friend. And this gives Ellie the reason to beat the shit out of this girl, right? Now, I think, personally, she tells Ellie where Abby is. Because in the next scene later, Ellie knows the location, right? But this girl was going to die anyway. So she would want it to be done quick, wouldn't she? So... Ellie already got the answer, she just made that up in her head so she could beat the shit out of this girl. Because her head's fucking weird. So this is the scene right after. Look at Ellie's hands in this scene and it tells you that she really didn't like what she did. She hated it. So what am I getting out with this? Ellie hated doing that, right? But she felt justified. She, she insulted Joel. She tried to hit her with a pipe and she hit back. And she needed to get answers out of her. She f needed to feel justified killing this girl. And that's why she still did it even though she, she hated it. That's why. So later on Ellie finds Mel and Owen. And she is going to question them on where Abby is. And she makes... She says that they can live as long as they give the answer. Like this. She's like, you guys can live. You will be great. You can live your lives. I just need Abby. Right? So that's her promise to them. So what happens? Right? She says, point to where it is. And then look exactly what happens. Another retaliation. Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! So after that she asks, where is Abby? And then, he says, where the fuck is she? But she puts the gun to his throat so he can't dock, meaning she doesn't actually care where Abby is, she just wants them dead, but she's making an excuse. She's fucking making an excuse, but she's actually wanting to kill them this entire time. So, 
she realizes that the pregnant baby and she's disgusted she's revolting and it's because she knows she fucked up but here's the thing she still wanted to kill her she did everything she could she could have not killed her she could have knocked her down tied her up eating but she still did it so tommy shows up and gets ellie out there and he's being supportive being a good guy then you see that Ellie has left the map there. And people think that this is bad writing. That she's left the map and really dumb. But she did it on purpose. And there's a reason why I think she did it on purpose later. And I'll show you when we get there. It makes sense, trust me. So Abby comes back to the aquarium. She finds Owen and Mel dead. Lev finds the map and gives it to Abby, and here's where I f think the reason why Ellie dropped the map. Look at the map. Why would it, you sh like her Ellie mark the hideout with a big circle? Why? She knows where the hideout is. She knows where to go. She's putting Dina and everyone else in danger, but she put the hideout with a big circle so Abby knows where to go, so Ellie can hopefully find Abby and kill her. By luring Abby to the place. So Abby shows up. She gets Tommy. She smacks Tommy a bit. And that attracts Ellie and Jesse to come see what happened. I said back up! You're making a big mistake. Don't fucking turn around. Love, keep your bow on him. Get on the ground. You gonna kill me like a coward? You fucking people. Jesse, stand up. Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. So Jesse is killed. Tommy is at gunpoint. And it looks like a really hopeless situation right now. For Ellie. My friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. Wait. Get off of her. Tommy. So Tommy saves Ellie from getting shot, but in the process he gets shot and he is killed. Yes. I am saying he is killed. Because he is shot in the head, as you can see on the screen. Shot on the right side of the head, right? Now, there is absolutely no fucking way he made it back to Jackson. There's no way anyone could save his life. He is dead. He is 100% dead, right? And let that be important. Tommy's dead and Jesse's dead and Ellie is losing people to Abby. So the two girls fight. Abby gets the upper hand. Beats up Ellie, and then this is what happens next after that.
So Ellie loses the fight against Abby. Abby has taken away Jesse. She took away Joel. She took away Tommy. And now I will even say she has took away Dina. And she has beaten Ellie. She's broke Ellie's spirit. Ellie is fucking done. She's completely destroyed, beaten in every way. All her friends are dead. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? Oh, I got you. Yeah, it's okay. We're good. So right after the Abbey fight, you literally just start here. You've got a baby all of a sudden, and you're like, whoa, what the fuck happened? Like, literally, this is so weird, right? But it seems, it's a time skip, right? So you see what happens. You find Dina here, and Ellie and her are getting along so fine, and they're, like, having a great time, and it's just, it's a really nice time. Like, it's really nice. It's really off-putting as well. You go outside with the baby and then you go, you look out, you're sitting on this uh, tractor thing, you just look out and you're like, my god, this is beautiful. Like, look at this. But the whole time, you just feel so off by it, there's something not right. That's the way I was feeling the entire time I was at this point. So then, you go and take, you go after these sheep and you got to put them in the barn. And then something really fucking unexpected happens. Or you're gonna have a deep appreciation for these jokes. Okay, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey. How'd you get out? Come on, little dude. So yeah, that happens. Ellie's going fucking nuts. She's been going through nuts the entire game and this is the start. And it's the next scene that kind of confirms like the theory that I'm having. Because it doesn't fucking make sense otherwise. So after seeing like the fact that Ellie is suffering from flashbacks of Joe, she gets a visitor. Who could this visitor be? Yep, it's Tommy. The same fucking guy that we saw get shot in the head ages ago. He's right here. He showed up. And sure, he's got damage to his face, right? But we're to believe that he survived this. Like, look, look at this. Fucking look at it. Shot point blank in the side of the head, right? Dead. He's dead. But but he's alive right now. He shows up literally after we have the Joel flashback, right? And he's talking about how, oh, he's heard rumours that someone's found Abby. And he's telling us about it after all this time has passed. And here's Dina saying that we're done with this. And this is why I don't think Dina is actually alive right now, or that baby. I think it's all in Ellie's head. 
Tommy has appeared because of Ellie's flashbacks and Dina is the good part of Ellie tra trying to get her to move on from all this and not chase Abby and Tommy is pushing her to go get Abby. So Ellie apologises to Tommy and look at her, she feels so guilty about it and the reason why she feels extremely guilty about it is because she isn't avenging all the people that died. And then Tommy says he can't go, but he's bringing it to Ellie, right? He's bringing us to Ellie and s telling her that she should go. Why can't he go? What is stopping him from going? You know, is it Jackson, Maria, or anything like that? He just says he can't go, and Ellie says, I know. She knows because Tommy's not real. He's fucking dead. Now watch what Tommy says next. And this is so not like Tommy. Tommy would never fucking say this shit. Reckon it's easy. Forget about her. You sitting all comfy way out here. Hey. I'll make her pay. Tommy. That's what you said when we got back to Jackson. Tommy. What a joke. Can you take him, please? Yeah. This is literally the most damned as evidence that this isn't really Tommy because he would never say this shit. Throughout the entire game he's been uh, like sceptical and he's always worried about others and all that shit and he's been nervous and even left by himself to go kill Abby at the beginning so Ellie wouldn't. And all of a sudden he's like this, he's being a cunt and he can't go for some reason. Yeah, okay, it's her brain pushing her towards Abby. She needs the revenge, she needs to find Abby, and she needs to settle it. That is what's happening right here. She feels unfulfilled. So, Ellie wakes up the day after Tommy arrives, during the night, because she can't sleep. Goes into her room and picks out her diary. And then we can read her song lyrics. Where does it get quiet? Time was supposed to extinguish desire. The mass keeps getting heavier, one step forward, two steps back. So she's faking something. Uh, they're talking about guilt over Jesse's death. It happened again, I was hunting this boar, a corner in a gas station that sounded just like him. It sounded like Joel screaming. Corner in a gas station screaming sound like him. Yeah, images in my head. There's a noose around Ellie's neck, and the further I get, it's harder and harder to breathe. Can I find a way to cut the cord? I've been waiting for dawn, but light is all gone. Don't know already, blind. Can I leave it all behind? She she's saying she wants to let go. She wants to get all this out. She has to get rid of it to move on. Hey. Man, it's been a while since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. Talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm, I'm not like you, Dina. What? You think this is easy? For you, and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. I can't. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long, just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. 
Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. I'm not going to do this again. That's up to you. <laughs> so this is where I, I, I start thinking Dina's really not real. So she says come back to bed, right? So she wants Ellie to stay and Dina's all about moving on from Abby. She doesn't want to go after Abby. She doesn't want any of that, right? Ellie says I love you to her. She says prove it. Again, trying to get her to stay. Wants her to stay. And then she says I'm supposed to sit here and wait for you. And I've got a problem with this, right? That line, what is she talking about? They are on a farm. They own the farm, there's fucking nobody around, there's no zombies, there's nothing, there's no lures. It's just a massive farm and they can live there forever. They could be happy. So why didn't they go back to Jackson? Because Ellie couldn't. She just couldn't go back. And the reason why she couldn't go back was because everyone died. Jesse died. Tommy died, Dina died. There is no way in hell Ellie could go back there and say to Marie and everyone else that, oh yeah, Abby beat me, she's alive, and everyone else died. She feels like a failure, and she has to write it, no matter what. And this is the last time we see Dina that says, I'm not going to do this again. So she's going to disappear from this farm, and she's going to take everything with her, apparently. Bullshit. She was never real to begin with. So when we go back to Abby, she's in a different area. She's been looking for the fireflies of Lev. She doesn't find them and ends up being captured. Ellie arrives and she's looking for Abby and she ends up find getting trapped. She gets out. She interrogates this guy who says they've got an Abby, and here's the thing, they picked it, her Abby up a couple months ago, a couple months ago, she's been here for a couple months apparently, with these guys who are complete psychopaths. So we get to see what the Rattlers are like, they have people in cuffs and I'm guessing that they're working on some farms or something. But the conditions are so bad that that guy wanted to kill himself and when you get inside that camp there's zombies everywhere that they've chained up. Not really a good place. So Ellie gets into the camp, she saves a bunch of prisoners and they tell her what happened to Abby and where she is. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Come on! And then we see what the pillars are. Abby.
So we're at the pillars where it's a bunch of people that have been hanged by their hands and they're dead. Some even have their limbs missing. My point is, is that Abby has apparently been here for a couple of months suppose with these psychopaths and hasn't died. Find her, she's super weak but hasn't died, right? No, I think Ellie finds her and she's dead. Like, she's dead right there. But Ellie refuses to accept it because she's done so far. She's travelled so far, I mean. So Ellie is looking at herself, covered in blood. And she's thinking she has to do this. She has to beat Abby, who's in her mind. She has to get it out. She has to avenge Joel. Then Abby says, I'm not going to fight you. Ellie says, yes, you will, right? And then she points a knife at Lev's throat, right? Now, remember, Ellie needs a reason to kill. She needs justification. She needs retaliation. She can't kill Abby right now because Abby's not fighting back. So in her brain, she has to come up a way why Abby would fight. And she comes up with this in her brain, threatening Lev so that this go imaginary Abby will fight her. So the girls start fighting, in Ellie's head of course, they're just going at it. Now this is the part, Ellie's fingers get bitten off by Abby, and you may be going, right, so how do you explain that then? you got to tell us that Ellie did it to herself, and I'm going to say, yes, she did. Because Ellie is believing that all of this is real, she's believing that she is getting damaged. She's believing that these punches are real. It's fucking her in the head. So she bit off her own fingers. Might be a bit of a stretch. But if her head's that fucked up, completely possible. So, Ellie is currently drowning Abby. She's going f through it. She's getting angry. But then, she starts thinking while she's doing it and realising that this is pointless. The reason why she sees Joel is because this is her letting go. This is her finally being able to let go of Joel and accepting his death completely. That is why he sees her and that's why she lets go of Abby. She's done. She's let go. She beat Abby. She found Abby dead and realised that revenge is over. And she's beaten Abby in her head and she finally let go. Abby didn't live. Abby died. And Ellie. Ellie was finally able to forgive herself. Not forgive Abby. She was able to forgive herself and move on. 
Afterwards, we're back on the farm. Ellie's returned. She checks the place. It looks kind of different. The sun's not as sunny. She goes in. The place is empty. She goes to the barn and all the animals are gone. Ellie goes into her room, which all her stuff is still there. She gets her guitar, she starts playing the guitar, and she can't play the song that she always played. Maybe because of her fingers, maybe because of the strings, or it's because she finally let go of Joel. I hope you guys enjoyed this theory that I had. Literally, I only came up with this theory because after I beat the game, I was like, man, that story is fucking awful. It's terrible. But then when I started talking about it, I was like, man, there's so much, like, here. There's actually stuff here that you can do. You can make stuff up. And who knows, maybe it's true, you know? Probably not because the writers are shit. But... I would like to think that my take on this game is super true, and I really hope it is. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, well what about Abby? Like, is there any crazy theories about Abby that could fix her story, make it way better? And to tell you the truth man, I've got a straight answer for you, right? Got this video clip here, it's going to answer it for you. Everyone have a good night and enjoy yourself.